look at this trail of oil and it eventually leads to a big puddle and this is caused by the oil filter housing gasket which is gone in this car and it does this when it's cold because the the gasket must have shrunk somewhat and when you start it up and I'll show you in a minute it drops a lot of oil then eventually seals itself up so I'm starting the engine up now and you can see it begin to pour out and this is what you're left with <laughs> it's quite dramatic And that's what it leaks out of. I'm going to drop the oil now and when I'm at it I'm going to take the front wheel off because there's a knocking on the front suspension and I don't know whether it's a, a top suspension mount or it's the drop link um, connection whatever you call them ball joint so I'm going to have a look but uh, this car is so low it's even lower than my BMW Compact and lowering springs. I've got to take all these off just to get the jack in. So the drop link joints seem okay, but there's a lot of oil in here and it's quite damp up in here. So I think the wobbling on the suspension is probably an acid shocker.
arrived this morning, so I'll get this on too. have it the oil filter housing gasket and for such a dramatic looking thing the actual job wasn't too bad to do at all the worst thing is getting the bolts off of the the housing itself the 30 millimeter bolts and there's five of them and you have to use a six inch extension and but they come away quite easily and you take the intercooler pipe off and the dipstick and the glow plug module as well and you've just got to wiggle it out the best you can I've driven a few miles now and it's not leaking which is good and I know it's been a short video and a standalone video but there'll be more videos coming along on the 120D very soon just to iron out all the problems with it and just to get it running perfectly so thanks for watching thumbs up and we'll see you soon